hi guys uh, good morning and welcome back today we will try to understand uh, the what is the market uh, performance and all and what are the uh, news which are available uh, the latest updates which are available uh, as per the, the stocks so that and all we will try to understand and what is the market performance that also we will try to understand before going to that let me give a disclaimer that the content we are discussing is only for educational purpose it is not a buyer sell recommendation guys so before uh, then without any further delay let directly let me let us get into the market so if you look at the, the nifty market uh, last week it has given uh, uh, almost 2.57 percent of rally it was a very good uh, one sided rally and uh, majority one or the another sector contributed for this major uh, very good rally and we will try to see like you know what is the market performance uh, for today also so like you know today uh, as we see here there is a friday there was a kind of uh, sell off and the bears were uh, were the strong uh, they started selling off and they started profit booking but still uh, the market is in the uh, uh, bull uh, i mean it is in, uh, in the side of uh, bull market there might be consolidation in this week uh, in this same range only like you know 23800 will be the good arch as a good support immediately like you know followed by 23600 is also a good support so there will be a consolidation kind of a thing and uh, as part of this month concerned i think there are some of the events like you know budget is there and uh, uh, quarterly results uh, will start uh, come out coming out so the trend will be there based on that uh, like you know the market can trigger to the new high or uh, it can break out to the upwards or it can break out to the downwards also we should see how it is going to be in the coming days guys as of now this is the market uh, conditions right now so we will be able to see in the upcoming days what is the performance and all so if you look at uh, the ifis and das activity for the last month so once again guys so for the june month uh, if you look at the fis are the net seller for the 2000 crores and das are the ev buyers of 28000 crores guys so in the fis uh, we would say that they came back and they started investing if you look at the fis journey from uh, uh, last few months so last june they bought uh, 27000 crores and uh, july they bought uh, 13000 crores but august september october they were the net, net sellers then november december they bought then jan feb jan feb they sold out march they bought then april may they sold out uh, then june they bought uh, 2000 2000 worth of crores then again if they start coming and buying heavily in the indian market then then again that also acts as a very good positive for the market and market will react positive for that so then we'll see what is going to happen in the coming near future also so this month there are uh, events there are series of events uh, quarterly results are there budget is there uh, many events are there based on that market uh, may lead to uh, the rally uh, 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 correction based on that we will see what is going to update and i'll also keep you guys informed as and when we have the latest update on the market so apart from that like you know let us quickly come back to the stock radar for today so what of an idea will be there in the focus today as it has increased the, the tariffic for its prepaid and postpaid customers uh, from july 4th so already like you know airtel and jio has uh, i i cut the tariffic hikes for prepaid and postpaid they are effective from july 3rd so this is effective from july 4th so this uh, from customer point of view this is the bad news but as part of the market this is the good news we will see how it is going to behave in that so then comes one more is like you know to invest enhancing 4g experience and launch 5g service over the next few quarters in the coming few quarters i think uh, they are going to invest in enhancing the 4g and uh, 5g services into the market also and then comes uh, the like you know um, a darling of the district is cochin ship that it is always like you know uh, given a good returns in the past uh, one year also so this has only one subsidiary has signed a contract with wilson asa norway for the design and construction of four 6300 twd dry cargo vessels so actually this has got this is order worth of 1100 crores maybe so this has a very good order we will see how it is going to be then comes godrej properties Uh, Godrej Properties acquired a leasehold right for 11 acres land parcel in Pune. Revenue potentially is 1,800 crores. So this will also be in focus today. Keep a close eye on this. So then comes Altertech Cement Commission, an addition of 3.35 MTP PA clinker and 1.8 MTP PA grinder capacity as its existing unit at uh, Thadipatri in Andhra Pradesh. 
So then comes JSW Energy. JSW Neo Energy, a wholly owned subsidiary of the company, has received a letter of award for wind solar hybrid power project for 300 megawatt from SJVN. For selling for setting up to 1500 megawatt ISTS connected wind solar hydro power project. So then comes uh, as you all aware of that CDSL. CDSL uh, a meeting of the board directors of the central repository is scheduled to be held on uh, Tuesday. I mean the Tuesday meeting uh, tomorrow. Uh, enter earlier uh, to consider an approval proposal for an issuing of a bonus share. If any subjected to the approval of the shareholders of the company it's said in the file it is submitted uh, a file in for the exchange it is like you know for issuing the bonus shares it will it is going to uh, have a meeting on uh, july 2 I mean that is tuesday that is tomorrow uh, issuing of the bonus pre shares so that will also be in focus today it is already in focus uh, friday also it has given almost 19 percent rally so keep a close eye on this so that is all for today for the trade setup for the morning session we will try to see the performance of these stocks in the evening session as well guys so thank you guys thank you for tuning into the trade setup for today uh, and uh, that's all thank you